Welcome to the Flow Builder. The Flow Builder allows you to create document processing workflows with multiple services and integrations. You can process any document, such as invoices, bank statements, emails, or tax forms. You can start the flow by selecting your input or location of your documents. That can be, for example, your cloud storage, ERP, or accounting system. Then select your services. We have multiple services for document capturing, but also services for conversion, classification, anonymization, and verification, for instance. Then select your output. After your documents are processed, you can choose what you want to do with them. For example, send the data to a Google Sheet, your ERP or accounting system, or CRM applications. To show you how easily you can set up your own flow, we will take bank statement processing as an example. First, sign in with your credentials and you're good to go. You can sign up for free using the link in the description below. For this example, we will enable bank statement capturing and the flow builder. You can find them in the dashboard. On the left, you will see the services that you enable. Let's start creating a new flow. Click on the Flow Builder. Here you have an overview of your flows. The Runs is the overview of the status of the document processes and the Connections. This is the overview of the connections you make within your flows, like your email, cloud storage, ERP, or accounting system. Let's create a new flow. On the right side, you can click New Flow. You can start from scratch or from a template. I will start from scratch. You can rename your flow in the top left corner. First, we will start the flow with the trigger. The flow can be triggered in a number of ways, such as email attachments, new file on your cloud storage or ERP system. In this case, I will use Google Drive and then click New File. This means that every time a new document is uploaded to the drive, the flow will be triggered. Then connect your Google Drive and select the folder or the location where you will be collecting the bank statements. Enable Include File Content, and when this is set up, you can test this step to make sure it's working properly. The test is successful, so we can move to the next step. Click the plus and search for the bank statement capturing. Select the connection to the Docker Horizon platform and select your preset. A preset is a custom configuration for your specific use case. If you want to learn how to create your own preset, you can find the video tutorial in the description below. I created a preset for bank statements and I can find it here in the presets window. Then we need to select which file we are going to process. In this case, we want to extract the documents from the Google Drive folder, so click on New File and click Insert Content and test this step. The test was successful. Let's move to our last step. What do you want to do with the data from the bank statements? You have many options. For example, you can connect to your ERP or accounting system, Excel sheet or cloud storage. For this example, we will save it in Google Drive. Click on Google Create New File then, on the right window, connect to your Google Drive account and select the name for your new file. In this case, I will select the original name plus underscore process dot JSON. You can do it with the name and extension that is convenient for you. Then, the text is the data that will be included in the new document. I will select all the bank statement components. For content type, I will keep text and then I will select my Output folder. I created one called Output in my Google Drive. Let's test this step. Yes, that was successful. Now that everything is set, you can try the flow. The Output folder is empty, as well as the Input folder, so I will upload a bank statement here. Now let's check the Output folder, and voila! There we have our bank statement process just like we configured in our flow. This is a simple flow to show you how easy it is to create one by yourself. But we can go and create complex flows as well, according to your needs. The possibilities are endless. 
Now it's your turn. Try it for your specific use case and feel free to check our documentation and our other video tutorials.